<clears throat> What's up everyone? Here's my Twitter account as you can see so enjoy that. Uh, let's hop over to Photoshop. You guys can see what's going on. <clears throat> I'm going to a University of Dayton basketball game tomorrow, so we are doing the stream a day early. That just means that you get more content because I have more time to do this. So let me make sure my tablet is set up on the right spot. Make sure all you lovely cat and kittens are on here. Let me try this again. <clears throat> we're gonna do something that I'm not really 100% well versed in so we'll see how that goes Vul vulnerabilities so I found this photo Devin Hester it's like the only good headshot I found so we're gonna use this um, so I'm gonna cut this out first so we're just gonna you know I don't know make him into a, a Hall of Fame bust and then Put it in some sort of scenario. What's up, Bennett? So let's just cut this out real quick. I actually want to get rid of the jersey. I just want, I just want his neck and up. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We'll go in, and I think I'm gonna make this a little smoother than usual, just because it's supposed to be like a Hall of Fame. Bus, so it's supposed to be um, smooth you know it's made out of gold or bronze what's up Noah so I'm just gonna like kind of smooth part of this out make it extra smooth let's just see what this does to the hair it should be pretty solid this actually might be better if I did like a selections or a channel selection because there's such a background here but not a big deal Things are going do things are going well. Did a little bit of client work this morning. Now we're gonna do this. I'm probably gonna fake this down here at the bottom, but it's fine. So I'll just hit okay. Alright, so we got the bust here, Devin Hester. Oops. And I don't know what kind of bus they would use for the Hall of Fame, but I wanted to just put something on here. So let me think of how I want to do this. Okay, so let's try this. Let's do a triangle. Let's flip it upside down. Let's center it up. Trying to get it there. Stretch it down here a little bit. And then, how would I theoretically do this? Take my pen tool, select this, but I want to do a convert anchor point tool. So I can go like this. But I just want these to be up here in the corner. I don't know why YouTube's giving me errors. It should be fine. Oops. Oops. I lost it. So what I want is I want the same, you know, we want it to, I think we want it to curve in like this, the bust. So I need to find the part I clicked up here. And I basically want these to be in the same spot. You know, kind of like that. That's kind of what I want. Except, I'm just trying to think, like, would the bus be more like this? I think it'd be more like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do that. I'm trying to think of how I would have this trying to think of how I would put this on here. 
Let's sauce this behind it real quick. <clears throat> so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fake the funk a lot on this. So let's let's do a new guide layout just to center everything up. I'm gonna hide this triangle for now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna we'll turn this to a smart object. So we're gonna puppet warp Devin Hester's face. We're gonna line everything up in the middle. So we're gonna move his lip over, we're gonna move the center of his nose over, we're gonna move his forehead over. So now he's looking dead straight. I want his eyes to be on the same level, so I'm gonna lower this eye just a little bit. Kinda of like that. Now he's looking pretty dead straight on. This ear is a little bit more seen, so we're gonna scooch it back a little bit. I might actually copy the ear. So I'm gonna hit enter, copy this. We'll flip it around. I'm hitting my cable. Okay. Oh, it just looks super weird now. Oh, hold on, let me delete this. Let me turn this into a smart object and duplicate it and then flip it around. So now it looks all busted. We'll line that up, hide this, go in here, lower his ears a little bit, give him a little bit of a, cut his ear off. We'll just flip that, reverse it. Just put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Is your flipping over bump yet? Okay. This kind of go like this. I just want to put his ear back in. Over here at Bradley Jack, we like to uh, do whatever we want. If the face doesn't look right, we just make it look however we want. That's a hundred percent true. So I'm just trying to make his hair not look completely, completely whack. Is that like that over there? Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna go like this. So I want his hair to stop right there, like that. And then we'll just kind of go like this. Shave him up a little bit. I think I really should just put these both underneath this layer. I think that might help. I can line it up a little bit better, like Mm hmm. See, like his head hits there, but then his ears off because that's not what his ear looks like. <laughs> so I'm just trying to set it over to the side a little bit. I think what I need to do is I need to put some of this back in. There, I need to do that. And then I can cover the ear up. Set it up the same. Go in <clears throat> and get rid of some of the ear, but then it will blend in a little bit better. Kind of like that. Then we take this top layer. Whatever, make a new layer. Let's add, let's take this out. What am I at, 100%? Oh, okay, my flow's at, my flow's at 30. So that's what's kind of messing me up here. So that's good. It's good right here. So this is where his ear is. So I want to get rid of this, get rid of this. I'm doing like way too much right now to like try and figure this out and like fake it, but I know what I want it to look like, so we really need to fake it to look like that. So the other side of his face looks like that. Oops. 
So what we want to do is we want to have sort of a, a sharp line going up like this. That goes into the ear. There. No one will know that I did that except for us. Okay, so that's better. We'll turn this back on. <clears throat> I'm going to take corners from here and just kind of go like this. Move this over to the, oh, hold on. Move this over here, put it in the same spot, and just go like this. We're just gonna have a nice, solid base of metal to work with. So then what we need to do is I think on top of all of this, one, we need to fix this so these are the same. So this is straight across, so actually this is the problem. Put this there. It doesn't have to be perfect either, but we want it to be perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're just going to stretch his neck out, essentially. I'm going to do a soft brush. We'll do 100%. And we'll just do this. No oh, man. This is all going to be like faded in and stuff, so it's like not that big of a deal. I'm going to get rid of his chain, which he probably wouldn't like. I'm just going to go back in, and we're going to darken up all this anyway, so we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. Rally Jack MD. So basically, I'm just trying to fill this with some color. I probably could use some of the, um, like fills, like content aware, but this is fine. I lower the opacity of the brush so it goes on a little more faint so I can blend things in a little bit better. Something I think helps setting it to like 30 or 40 percent. And I could do 100 right now to just fill the area in. But then I can go back to 30%. It's going to add a little bit more of the, the texture. So here's the bust we have. I think that looks pretty solid right now. So we'll save this as Hester bust head. Save everything as large document files, apparently. Okay, so we're going to take this. We're going to replace the contents of it. With Devin Hester Busted. Okay, great. So now we have that there. We can go in and then, you know, fix some things. I can get rid of this triangle now. Ah, but I can see a spot down here. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We'll just group this all together. Um, but I want to add to this top group. I'm going to add a spot where we fix the hair, just a little trim on the hair. But we're going to completely change this. So here's the here's the trouble when making like a bust out of a statue is that, you know, the hair, everything's going to be made out of the same material. So you have to make sure that everything looks correct. Did I do this to the wrong one? I replace that with not the right thing. Replaced it with that. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Alina, we're going to make. Um, did I save that there? Yeah. We're going to make a Dead Hester Hall of Fame bust. Oh, and I have my I have my Devin Hester jersey on for this. I put it on just for you guys. So if you guys don't know, I like uh, kind of a fan of this guy named Devin Hester. He's the reason I am a 
Chicago Bears fan, really. I started paying attention to the Chicago Bears. Oh, is that 30%? That's probably why I didn't do it. Um, starting in 2006, which was his rookie year, um, we then happened to go to the Super Bowl. So I've been a fan ever since. Uh, I'm one of, I don't know, eight. One of a handful of diehard Devin Hester sports card collectors. So I couldn't think of anything good to do. So it's like, you know what? We're going to do Devin Hester because that's on brand. I also couldn't find any new photos of Obi, so you know we'll just do the other other guy I collect. All right, so there's a couple odd spots that I missed. Save, go back. Okay, it's actually right here. Okay, we have that. So let's save this as Hester bust design, whatever. Blah 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 blah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what we what we what we need to do. My friend who's a Bengals fan just told me I know what I need to do for the stream. Because he's a huge Bengals fan. He was at the game. So he's like, hey, you should make a Bengals design. I couldn't, there's just that would just be too many photos. That's why I didn't do the bangles. All right, so we can go over to our best friend in Bado, and I'm gonna search, uh, I don't know, statue bust. A lot of cool stock video. So here, this is what I want. I want 3D. Of course, it's female. I just want statue male. I basically just want actually a stand, you know, for this bus to be on, like this. And we could put it on something like this, that wouldn't be a bad idea. What are the Hall of Fame bust NFL? What do those look like? Because I could just take one of these and steal it, you know? Because they all have like the same sort of thing going on. Let's do that. Uh, let's go to Advanced Image Google Search, NFL Hall of Fame Bus. We're going to find stuff over four megapixels. See what we can find. I really should put him in a jacket next to it. You know, like just put his bust here, Photoshop his head on top of LT. It's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Let's do that just because. All right, LT, we're just going to uh, open image of the tab. We're gonna get rid of all this crap that's gonna make it not giant. Hit enter, oops. And I think someone already did this. I'm pretty sure I saw someone make a design of Devin Hester on top of something else. But we're gonna do this. Cause I just, let, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. Cause I kind of just want to have like lighting on it to make it look cool, you know, something like that. But first, let's do this. Let's let's size this up. Put Devin Hester behind it. Then I can just kind of size this to so like this. And then we can mask it out. Look at that. Look how close I was to actually getting that like kind of nice. So I'm gonna go like this and see. Okay, that's where his neck is. So we'll go like this. Just to continue the same neck. But we can use this statue as the base to figure out what colors we need to use. So, you know, boom. Here's the bust. Because so I kind of just want this top part. But let's focus on making him into a bust first. Okay, so first, let me get let's move some of this back. Not part of the neck, that's okay. All right. So we can turn this off and on and see sort of how it should look, which is kind of nice. I think this hit's a little too big, but I think it's fine. We'll just make it a little bit smaller. 
because I can always just Photoshop out behind it, not a big deal. Uh, let's take a look. NFL bus material hall of fame. Bronze. Yeah, they're made out of bronze. They're made out of chocolate. Okay, so a couple things that I look at if I'm going to try and do this. If you look at a bust, it's got this shine to it, so we're going to add that. Um, the eyes are tricky, and then the hair is tricky. Because clearly, these look like normal eyeballs, um, and the hair is dark, whereas the hair in a statue is going to be lighter because it's the same material. Here's what we're going to do. I looked up a bunch of different ways to do this, and I couldn't find one that was like great. Because you can set this to difference, duplicate it, set a different difference, and invert it, and then you have this sort of look like this. And then we can just add a um, gradient map on top of it. And then it kind of looks like it, but not really. So what I'm going to do is hide these, take this gradient map, hide, So with this gradient map, I can select different spots. You know, this is the lightest part. I guess let me get this cheek right there. That's the lightest part. The darkest part isn't necessarily black, but it's dark brown. So if I turn all of these on, you know, it looks like that. And it looks looks kind of dumb. So that's the difficult, interesting part: is how do we get this to look correct? Uh, first thing I want to do is let's go to camera raw. And if you guys have any suggestions on how you think we can do this, let me know. We're going to kill the noise reduction just to make it, you know, have. Come on. Okay. Can't even hit OK. That's fun. Cancel? Yes, dismiss cancel. Awesome. Awesome, we broke it. Well, let's quit out of that. Let's try again. Uh, uh. We're going to smooth it out. I don't know if I have the... I don't think I have the frequency separation on here anymore. So we're back to here because I didn't save anything, but that's fine. Now let me see if I have this. Do I have these in here? Frequency separation. Great. Uh, we're in the 8-bit. <clears throat> okay, so... Ah, oh, crap. Stupid background. It's fine. We'll just go like this. Boom. Okay. Alright, so with this frequency separation... What I can do is, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna do it with the lasso tool feathered at like 5%. So I can go like this and then go to filter blur, Gaussian blur. And like blur some of this out, but then I can also take the stamp tool basically smooth out some of these areas oh no I know no sorry I'm doing this wrong um, sorry let me go back no these I do blur so I can take this area blur Gaussian blur and we can blur it I'm gonna blur the top layer though hold on filter blur Gaussian blur three pixels maybe can never decide if I'm doing this right or wrong. Um, I think I blur this actually. So this top layer is controlling the texture, the bottom layer is controlling the skin tone. So I can go in and go like this, filter Gaussian blur. Is, what was the hockey for that? That, okay. 
I can select these areas, blur it out. So I can blur out the tech, the color texture of it. And then go up here and I can blur out some of the other texture as well. But it's so, it's super intense. So let's blur, Gaussian blur. Let's do like two pixels. Let's see how bad this looks. Helping a little bit. Let me just do this to smooth out areas and then we'll go in and do what we said and we'll just use some sort of filter. Just wanna smooth out some of these areas. I'm doing this kind of hastily. But you know, it was this and now it's this, so it's a lot softer. Yeah, I could just use the blur tool um, where's that at? Blur. The issue is it's sampling all layers. I don't want to do that. I don't think I'm actually supposed to be Gaussian blurred. I think I'm supposed to do something else, but I don't remember what it is, to be honest. There's a good video on how to, how to do this and why you do this. I don't want to blur. It's going to blur the top. But then on the color below, we do something slightly different. I think you do something slightly different at least. It might just be blur. <laughs> Yeah, let me do that. That's that's what I wanted to do. I want to either use the uh, I'm gonna use the spot healing brush. I don't want to sample all layers. I just want to sample this layer, and then it's gonna get rid of that stuff. But there's still a texture on top. So actually, I want to do it on both. Sorry, that's the tool I've been forgetting exists. The spot healing brush. The spot healing brush is real nice. We can get rid of this line in his head. We can get rid of it here. You know, a little bit better. Yeah, you there you can dodge and burn to get rid of some of that skin tone. We'll just do this and then we'll just go to the uh, camera raw filter and then we'll just you know kill this with noise canceling. That looks better. Um, did someone say filter gallery? Or no, Bennett said neural filters. I mean, I could go in here though and do something. That oh, looks terrible. I hate going in here. Because it always looks terrible. No, no. What does this do? Oh, we can add chrome. We can do chrome here and it looks terrible. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I think that looks, yeah, that looks fine. We'll save that. Oh, we're in the design itself. That's right. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's grab oil paint. Let's take a look. Let's go take a look and see what oil paint will look like. Filter. Uh, filter gallery. Where am I going? I never use this. be super clean. I want zero bristle detail. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that might help. Just hit 
hitting buttons. Yeah, I think that works. Here's what we need to do, though. I need, a I need to tweak his eyes. <clears throat> In order to do that, I need some bronze statue eyeballs. Which, as you can see, are absolutely terrifying. Um, let's search Hall of Fame bust NFL again. They do really, man, these are really, these just look really nice. <laughs> let's see what they do here. Yeah, I would like to open image in recap, please. So they actually chisel inside the eye. I'm trying to think of how we can get the eye to look good, you know? It's not easy making stuff look, look you know, how it's supposed to. All right, let's try this first. Okay, so I'm gonna go to adjustments and there's a bunch of different ways that we can make this look metallic so we're going to try a couple different ways so first we're going to use our trusty gradient map which my buttons theoretically should be working today so we'll take a look so i'm going to set this back up 25 to 25 we're going to set this to be 50 percent i'm just trying to set up this to be a little bit more total Yeah, I'm probably going to use... There we go. I'm going to toss a gradient map on it just to make it black and white. And then we're going to go up to curves. There's a couple different ways we can do this. Um, basically, just can just stair step like this a bunch. Kind of organize these out. Let's, can I blow this? Let's blow this out. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. So, you know, I can just kind of stair step some chrome like this which does a pretty decent job but then this is where the hair doesn't look you know the hair is black we don't want the hair to be black we want the hair to be lighter so maybe like this just make it a little bit lighter Let's see what these do okay we'll make that brighter because where's this area that's fine I think that actually looks pretty decent. We'll do curves like that. Then how do we want to colorize it? You know, we could use a gradient map. That looks kind of nice. Use a dumb gradient map. Gradient map. Gradient map. Raise the leftmost point. You think so you you think I should raise this up to make it not black like that? And maybe tweak some of these to go along with it. I'm gonna blow this, blow this bust up of LT because we're gonna use this to get our colors. But I have the mask selected. All right, so we're gonna select this, which is kind of brown. We're going to select the midpoint, which is kind of like that. And then the dark point we'll select sort of like that. We'll see how that looks. It looks like how it, I think it would look, but it's not, it's not what I want, you know? Okay. So let's take a look at these and do just like a little investigation as to how we can do this. So it's a bronze statue. It's not gold. So I think the issue right now is it's too bright. It's super bright. And I think what's gonna help is me putting in um, shadows, which is why I wanted to do sort of a different manipulation. And I think I just need to make it, oh, hold on, let's set it to normal. So I think I need it to be more like this. 
what if I set this to white? Okay, setting things to white really just helps a lot. The issue is it looks gold, it doesn't look um, bronze. Because bronze doesn't shine as much. You know, so I think if I do that, I think I just need to get rid of some of these, you know? And really just make it kind of... Kind of like this. And I can't... Oh, let me drop this down and see how bad this looks. It actually doesn't look too terrible. You know what I mean? Because it's not that reflective. You know, because I can just put a gradient nap on him. Like this, which, you know, look, it's bronze, but not really. Maybe if I have this curves layer set to like... That looks, that looks weird. It really just depends on like, how do we want to commit to this? Do we want it to be shiny bronze? Do we want it to... It, it, what I'm always thinking is I want to make it look as real as possible, which might not be possible with what I'm trying to do. You know? Okay, let me get rid of this. Let's do this first. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go to Goggle. We're gonna find a, a marble statue eyeball. And we're going to put that in his eyeball. Pretty much. Just gotta find one that I like. I could probably, let me search, I already searched bronze statue eye and it was a bunch of creepy stuff, right? Yeah, it's a whole bunch of creepy stuff. You know, I can give him Buddha's eyes made out of brass. Oh, someone put googly eyes on that, okay. See, cause it's sort of like this. I basically need to flatten them out. So we're gonna, we're gonna do marble and then I'll see if I can blend it in. And that's why I like this stream, it's a lot of experimenting cause I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. All right, let's use this guys. Except this image is super tiny. Can I fake this? No. Okay, hold on. I gotta find a better image. What are you thinking, Garrett? Retracted. The issue is I want them to look like Devin Hester's actual eyes. So I kind of just want this part that is a little bit glossy. The yeah, the issue. So like we've got these. Oh, I mean there's a bunch of stuff in here. But like here are these metallic ones. Right? But it just looks weird. I'm just waiting for this to load and not be terribly crispy. Man, there's some weird statues in here. See, like this. Oops. All right, so I'm going to download this image and we're gonna see if we can put it in here and make it look not too weird as hell. Like, I can make it, like, this looks kind of brassy, actually. I think we just need to tweak a little bit of the color. We can't do that with that selected. That may be the thing, too. Yeah, I know it's people as a heart. It's like a thing they did. We're just going to commit to this. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, let's take this. 
Apostles Heart people on here. I guess if it's in the same group, I can just do it here so it's all the same. Okay, we're gonna just go whoop. As John Madden would say. Or not John Madden, Chris Berman. Just gonna put that in the same spot. Uh, we're gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna paint in where his eyeball would be. And we'll put these shadows back in. I think this is one of the more important things you need to do if you're going to make someone look like a statue. We'll just flip it around. I want his pupil to be in the same spot though. Just give him these real creepy looking eyes. Okay, great. Uh, then we'll take some curves and we'll drop it down a bunch just apply to that um, we'll go in here just kind of add this edge shadow to it to add that shadow back in that the eye would be it can't be nothing, guys. It's got to be something. We'll save that. We'll go back over here. We'll see how creepy it looks. This is what it looks like. Black and white. It looks better black and white. Then we add the curves to it. And then we add that. And it doesn't look too creepy. So that's good. I think what we need to do then is we need to add an adjustment layer of curves again. trying to think of how the issue is like I mean I can do this and ooh, look ooh, ah. and one of these might work you know going like this or something and then adding a curves layer on top of that but setting it to like luminosity you know I think this is good <clears throat> I basically just want to take certain parts of this and I want to make sure that they're dark like, I want to make sure the pupils are dark. Because they're pupils. So you want to look into the eye. That's what the pupil is. And we can look at LT and see what is dark on here to ensure that those areas are dark. Uh, X. We're going to go here. I could probably just, like, draw these shadows in just myself to make it look more realistic. But I feel like as a whole, it's still too light. Let me just do like a little bit of an exposure layer. Go like that. Put that on top of the curves layer. I mean, that looks a little bit better. But here's the thing. It's so like the hair I hate. The hair looks terrible. So we've got this curves layer on the hair. Let me add an adjustment layer of invert. Underneath the curves, on top of the curves, on top of the exposure. Five. No, I want to see it like that. Okay, so I want it there, but I don't want it on anything but the hair. So I just want to go into where his hair is. Let's get rid of this. And paint it back in. But as you can see when I do that, it looks super funky. Let's move all this stuff back over. Like this isn't, this is hard. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that so it only affects dark spots. That's a good idea. All right, so we don't want the underlying layer. Let's see that. Let's see what this looks like just initially. That'll be easier Then I can mask it out a little bit better. But you can see this looks more like a bronze statue. The only issue is this gradient map. Um, but I can actually take the curves. 
That's 100%. I'm just trying to think. Do I want to do an invert? I kind of have to do an invert. But then I want another exposure layer. But I only want it to apply to light areas. Because I only want it to apply to the hair. I just want this hair to be darker than it is now, you know? Let me dumb down the exposure a bunch, but it breaks everything because I have it. There we go. Like that. Like that's better. Because the hair's... You pretty much, I pretty much want the hair to be the same skin tone, like that. But then underneath the gradient map, we have this curves layer that's darkening a bunch of stuff, so that's good. I want to go in and darken up this area as well. Yeah, it's better. I mean, this is a fun little experiment we're doing, to be honest. Okay, let's add this curves layer on top. Let's not dumb it down as much. So now we're going to add in where I think, you know, dark shadows should be. Let's set this to luminosity. You know, clearly underneath his neck would be dark. I might just have to fake the funk on some of this. But then like this would be darker. What are we at? Let's do four and four. Underneath his lip, his pupils again would be dark. <coughs> it doesn't look terrible, to be honest. Does it look like that? No. Does it look like a bronze statue? Sure. Um, just convert this all to a nice smart object and we'll toss it on front of this pretty much in the same spot just make sure okay so we want to be like that yeah so like his whole iris is dark I get what you're saying so maybe Cause it's just a pupil but do we want to darken up do we want to darken up the whole iris area hey there you go see so I mean, we can go like this which is going to darken up a bunch but then the iris is still darker. It's a little soft, but we'll see what this looks like here. I think the issue is, I think I have a, these are really, these are really solid brush. Yeah, I could just make his people a specular highlight. Ugh, look how bad a truth's people in. It's okay if I get the darker areas up here like that. Yeah. Come on. Okay. I might tweak that in the highlights later because I am going to put this in some sort of a setting. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, so we have this going on. Um, I want to take this and boo -doo -boo -doo -boo. Oh god. I do this. Blend it in a little bit better. guy hey look at this look at this bot you guys like this bot I do too uh, report uh, spam cool 
Yeah, this looks this doesn't look too bad. I think part of the issue is I think on this gradient map. I feel like we need a middle I need another middle ground here. I need this to be just like a little bit lighter. But muted. this bring this back over just a little bit yeah maybe not okay get rid of that scratch that idea uh, lower this down a little bit let's mask this out just a teeny bit come on just do 100 percent okay there we go Okay, so now what we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna move it over here. Doesn't look exactly right, but that's fine. Um, selective color. All right, so the yellows are too bold, so we need to add in some cyan to dumb this down. We need to warm it up a little bit, so we're gonna add some magenta. It looks so much better already. Yeah, that looks better. Just these highlights don't don't work. Like this area kind of works. It's still the hair. Because I just really wanted to, I guess I really just wanted to lighten it up. I don't really want to completely invert it. You know? So that's why I was trying to... Let me do this. do like a 30% but it's underneath man it's so hard to do because it's underneath this stupid curves layer like I have to do it all at once like this and it just like completely manipulates the whole thing and then it's not as dark but that's because of this curves layer. let me get rid of these two guys real quick See, I can't do the I can't do the opacity. I have to do 100%. And then go like this. But then it messes up all of this stuff here. So let's do like 40% and go like this. That's a little bit better. Okay, let's go back to 100%. I think when I added... Yeah, the issue with the blend if is like, I want it to only apply to this light area, but then like, gets to a point let me delete this whole thing because really what I'm trying to do is you know as I'm trying to make this the same as this now the issue is this curves layer you know destroys everything so let me turn that off and then see what we can figure out with this you know kind of like this and then get rid of the exposure, but then paint it back in. Kind of like this. I think the issue is I had that curves layer on there, so it just looked really weird. Hold on, I'm not using pure whites. I think this helps a little bit. This isn't like an easy thing to do though. I think this might look better though. We'll see what it looks like after we put the gradient on top of it. But I think just kind of doing this works a little bit. But again, it looks nice up here. I think it looks nicer up, up top. 
I just need to make sure that's all matched down here. Okay, let's turn that curves layer on. Yeah, that looks better. So we have the curves layer to darken it and darken it, and I can fix that at the bottom. Shoot. So now it's hella dark. I think that's fine because we can. Yes, yeah, this it's super. This is super complicated. Figuring out how to make this work. Um, it's still too yellow. It's still too yellow. Here we go. This is where we can. This is where the magic can happen. That's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna take this, which I made into a smart object on accident. Um, we're going to put this back to convert to layers. Nope. delete that. The reason I'm going to delete that is because I made it smaller than made it to a smart object, but I want it to be like full size. <clears throat> so 100. Oh, this is 100%? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I basically want the bust in this to be as large as possible. Stop it. this a little bit larger like this really I pr it probably would have been faster for me to learn how to 3d create this in like blender or like cinema 4d that would have been easier all right so we're gonna grab this just want the bust don't want that uh, we'll do this this is what I want Select and mask. Boop, 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 doo, doo, doo. Should probably use like Gigapixel or something on this to blow it up, but it's fine. Let's get rid of some of these areas. I'll get rid of the fringe later, that'll be easy. Let's just get the base of this statue figured out. I have no idea how to use Blender. I've never used Blender. I use Cinema 4D, but again, if this is, a, if that's why like, someone asked me recently about doing something like this and I'm like, it's hard, it's really hard. It might be easy if you've done it before a bunch, but like specifically bronze, I think it's hard because we can make this gold, like no problem. Make it nice and shiny and weird and wacky, but for this, it's a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Let's image. Let's give this a background of like I don't know. Apparently yellow. Let's do black. Oh, I can't because I have this selected. Yeah. Okay. So now we can get rid of all this crap we don't want. Um, I don't know, Bennett. I might. Tell me who he is, and then I'll say yes. I might know people by their name they go by on the internet, not their actual name. Okay, let's go here real quick. Just go to hue and saturation, blues, select, 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 select desaturate, blah, not desaturate. look too good but it's fine oh he makes insane 3d models gotcha yeah so it just takes just like a whole different part of the brain to do stuff like that just click this go like this and fake the funk it in post otherwise just fix everything in post 
this is technically post-production I think already so fix everything in post honestly thought we'd be like way more along like creating some sort of something or other with this by now but that is not the case all the same hue of pan. Great. Save. Of course I can't save. And it's all fast. Okay. You know, this doesn't look too terrible. It kind of looks like a bust. We got that going for us. <laughs> uh, let me just trim this up a little bit just on the side because I can. And we'll just fake it and say it does that. Straight bottom. Flat bottom girls. That's what we have going on. Blend this in a little bit more. Uh, the tone is still a little bit off. Metro Bra, this is just. I wanted to go live today. And I'm a huge Devin Hester fan. He's going to make the Hall of Fame, so. We're just making a fake NFL bust of him. I think we'll put it. What I was going to do is put it on a pedestal and like put some cool shit in the background. I think that's what we'll do. Um, let's go back to Envato. Uh, pedestal. Pedestal? Pedestal. There we go. Helps if you spell things right. See, we just put it on like one of these nice pedestals. These nice pillars. Put it on just a mobile pedestal drawer. I like this. This is kind of nice. Rotate it so it's dead center. Kind of like that. Blah, blah, blah. Pedestal. big. Probably isn't the best one to use. You know, just from how... It's probably going to be pixelated a little bit. Yeah, it's a little pixelated based on how we have it. Let's crop it real quick for no reason and have it just completely break. There we go. Just, nope, stop it. Ah, oh, man. I don't want the artboard tool. I want the move tool. Thank you. Just go like this. There. Now it is on a pedestal. Make this go up like that. No, our board tool is so annoying sometimes. Okay, Hester Bust sounds. Good, so let's add a background to this now. Let's see if my libraries load. Good time, right? Hey, look at that. My libraries. Um See, I kind of want this whole thing to be. Let's let's fix this actually. Let's get rid of these and fix it all here. Okay, so we want. I guess I don't need it to be curves. I guess I can just do like an exposure. 
Let's do negative one and a half. Set it to luminosity. Put it on top of these. And I think I do want its curves. Yeah. Yeah, the colors aren't there completely. So maybe desaturating the whole thing might do the trick. Actually, we're gonna give this a photo filter of whatever this red hue is. Actually, no, I guess I can, instead of doing the photo filter, I can go to Garrett's favorite color balance and add in a little bit of red. It's not doing anything though, there it goes. Midtones, shadows, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, not yellow. Let's go to curves, drop this down a bunch, set it to luminosity, invert it. Okay, and then we're going to put these pupils back in. Let's see if I want it to be super sharp. There we go. Using the trusty Wacom tablet, Wacom, Wacom tablet, I should say. It's nice to have you guys here to be like, hey, idiot. You should do this. It'll look way better. Because it doesn't look, it's not fully there yet. Mainly because like, I think really the, the thing is there's no like, the blues from these lights, you know, don't exist. That maybe could be the issue. How does I do that? What if I go in here? And on this gradient map, I just put like a random thing of like dark blue, except light blue. Honestly, I don't. I think that might help. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's gonna be impossible. Like, see, that looks that looks better that I have. It looks better that I added this blue. So I think we might be onto something. It's a bronze statue with the light that hits it? What, what even going, this isn't even doing anything. The light that hits it is a little bit blue. Like that's a little bit better. The issue, you know, the issue is I'm just not, I, the issue is I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, that's the main issue. going back and forth on like how this should look. Let's save that. Go back over here. Okay, what do we have here that does that? Okay, so this is good. This is good. I don't think I need the hue and saturation anymore. The color balance is fine. Let me toss it on top of that and then do this. I don't need to darken it. I think that's what I don't like. Uh, curves, okay. This curves layer is mainly going to help us darken up this chin area. So, yeah, it's the issue. It's just turning it black. Can we add some yellow to it, maybe? Let's add a little bit of yellow. I'm not even adding yellow. Oh, it's because luminosity and he said it's normal. Okay, let's tweak this back. Let's go 
for the reds. I wanted to add brown, so we need to add a little bit more like that. I think that's good. It's much better. Okay, we're gonna save. What's really gonna save this is covering everything up with color lookups, so we're gonna do that now. The left side as a whole could be a tad brighter just to match. This whole side. Well, I do want to light this, so let me let me do that real quick. Um, I think it actually does look better with this color look up on it too, to be honest. Before, after, before, after. Kind of blends these all in together. Makes this look a little bit more bronzy. Yeah, let me add some, let me add some spotlights to this. Some like real obnoxious spotlights. Like this is bright. I get it. This I need to colorize this too, it looks bad. Um, uh -huh. All right, cool spotlights. You know, we can use these to do cool, cool stuff. And, I don't know, here, boom, spotlight. Lighter from the top, adjustments, levels, I guess to get rid of the little bit of blur at the end. 45 degrees from this side. Flip that around, negative 100, 40, whatever, 45 degrees. On that side, sort of like that. So we'll just set, group all these together, set it to screen, put a levels layer on top of it, and then really just kind of, what's the issue doing that though? Oops, group that together, screen. Duplicate that. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I don't know, 25? Something real dumb. 45? Lighting's too intense. Hold on, let me scale this up. Hold on. Go dumb. We'll do that, and we'll see how bad this banding is. I guess it's really bad. Oh, there. There, just has some faint light on top. Good, great, grand, wonderful. Okay, so let's actually go to the base here. Well, let's go to this pedestal first. And let's just do what we would usually do to light this pedestal. This first we're gonna save. So negative one and a half. I do not think is enough. Negative two. Negative two. Okay, good. Maybe we want to color balance it a little towards the warm side like this. I'm actually gonna color balance this as a whole. Let's do that. Hold on here. Okay, we're gonna group these all together. We're gonna hide these real quick. Okay, this is now one thing. All right, so let's do how I usually light things. Negative 1.5 on top of here. We don't need a color who's a what's it. So we're going to select this, select, modify, contract. Let's do two pixels. We'll do a curves layer, bump that up. We'll do three spots and see how bad this looks, but we only want it to affect the highlights. So we're going to go like that. We're going to invert the layer. So then it's just hitting the specular there, but I think we can tweak this down a little bit. Kind of like that. I like to then usually I've been adding a white layer to do the exact same thing. Whoops, delete the curves layer there. So we'll go like that, delete, delete. 
Now this only affects underlying layer like that, but I need to blur these both. We're gonna blur both of these like three and a half pixels. Three and a half pixels like that. <clears throat> I think that's pretty solid. Uh, but I mean, as you can see, it looks super terrible down here. So we're going to just gonna kind of faintly mask that out, faintly mask it out. So it's there, but not as bad. It's mainly up here. I don't think it's blurred enough. Did I blur both of them? That means not enough. Six and a half. I think that's good. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer, but I don't want it to be so intense. We're gonna drop it down a little bit. We're gonna delete the layer mask, invert it, and then we'll go in with a 30-30 brush, and we'll go like this. So we have light hitting from this side and light hitting from this side. So it hits sort of like this. I need to hit the top of this pedestal completely. I need to hit the top of this pedestal completely. Hit these sides. Then I can hit the sides of his face here. Zoom in here. It's like this, so I can see what I'm doing. Now, now we're onto something. Now it's actually kind of looking okay. It's all in the lighting. We just fake all this lighting in the end. Light up his nose, light up around the head, on the sides here. Maybe we could toss a little bit back on here. I'm trying to think of what's going to get hit by the light you now. And what's not going to get hit. So before, after, before, after. I think that's fine. I'm gonna duplicate this layer, delete it. I'm actually just gonna invert this. And sort of just draw in shadows where I think shadows need to be. And then we'll put some more shadows in in a little bit. There needs to be shadows here under the nose. I think under here to be dark as a whole. I should probably give this thing some texture too. We might be able to find a nice texture we can apply to this. Um, that would be bright, that would be bright. This would all be dark. make sure I don't have any like emergencies blowing up in my face or things due today. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so the front of this I feel like would be a little bit darker than the edges because of where the lights are. Back here would be dark, back here would be dark, under here nice and dark. Maybe just a little bit on the edge here. Maybe, I don't know. Let's get rid of that, we don't want that, okay. So then under here, you know, I can draw this line that goes across here. This would be darker, of course. This would be darker. And then these would be darker. That would be lighter, but this would be dark. I think as a whole, I can probably do this a little more loosey-goosey. And this whole thing's a little bit darker, but then we can take our curves layer here and hit some of the edges of this. To act like it's lit up a little bit better. Oh, I need to add a shadow to this. That looks terrible. Um, let me do that. Let me do that down here. Let me do that in this group, actually. So I'm just going to add an adjustment layer of dropping down curves like that. We're going to apply to it, erase it, and then just kind of go like this.
I don't know where the lighting would be. It would just be, you know, slightly darker over here. Just kind of doing it a little faint. But we're going to... Duplicate this and make it really freaking dark. Zoom in here. Let's do 50-50. This isn't perfect, what I'm doing right here. Let's blur this a little bit. Filter blur, Gaussian blur, like three pixels. Whoops, double clicked on that, didn't want to do that. I actually want to go into this pedestal. And down here at the bottom. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to take this and make sure the bottom is completely dark. Dark, dark. Really, I can just paint with black. I'm just going to paint with black. <laughs> I'll just make it easier. Save. Save. There. It's better. Okay. So we added some highlights. We added some more highlights. Let's add some shadows now we already kind of did. I think I might want to set these all to luminosity. I'm not 100% certain. Wow, let me... Okay. Really need to drag this over if I don't want it to apply, but it's fine. Okay, let's get... Let's see if I can get some real details in here. Let's do 5 and 5. Flow 5 capacity 50%. So we'll really toss in to darken these up because I want these to look like they have some shape to you. Shape to them. Oh, see that looks bad there. Um, to the curves, so I want to do I want to do what I did before. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red, but I can't set it to luminosity then. I have to set it to normal. Just going back, just keep going in circles. Take away a little bit of blue, and that should make it a little bit of, a little bronzy. Yeah. Which is good. I'm gonna darken up this whole area of the eye. I'm gonna darken up this whole area of the eye. Because I feel like there would be heavy shadows on that. And I'm even gonna like darken up this area with these big highlights on it, which might look a little funky, but we can fake that a little bit more later. You know, underneath his lip, his top lip, and then we'll do underneath his bottom lip here. We'll add a little bit. So maybe there's a little bit of, a little bit of some texture here, or something like that. I want to use a smoother. Down here, this is a sort of troublesome area, because this whole area I want to really darken up, I think. So we might add another layer on top of this to really darken up underneath this beard here. And I really just want this to converge like this. Oh yeah, that's adding a good amount of yellow. Adding some color to it. out these oh gosh that's way too heavy hold on 20 and 20 go like this and then some more shadows uh, let's add just some more shadows to this whole front just to sort of accentuate that area. Some areas still don't look too right. Let's darken up. Some of these areas. Dark, dark, dark. 
maybe darken up some of these ears. Just the areas that, like, would hit. Kind of darken up. Really, I think what I'm doing now is going in and thinking where would areas be naturally dark from the shadow, regardless of the reflection, what would be casting a shadow on this statue? Because the statue, the statue might reflect things, but there are going to be dark points, you know, like this. It doesn't look too bad, really. It'll look a little bit better, but for not having any, any idea what we're doing, pretty good. Um, let's go to Envato again. I need to finish this up soon, actually. Started a little late. It's been an hour and a half, so this would be a cool little 90 minute stream. Uh, bronze texture. Bronze texture. I want a bronze texture. I don't want a metallic texture. I want bronze. I guess metallic or marble would theoretically work. So I have some gold textures. So let's hop in here. Let's hop in here. Okay, so I have gold somewhere. Pull up bridge. Gold, 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 gold. So I just want something that's gonna like kind of give it, like this is kind of gonna give it the texture of gold, you know? Set this to overlay. I mean, that's actually not terrible. I just want to give it a little bit of texture. I think it actually might work well. Whatever I just did. Let me save that. Save that. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Adding that texture to it, I think, did actually a lot. So that's actually pretty sweet. I think it looks a lot more realistic now. Okay, so let's... Duplicate the shadows again. I usually like to do like two shadow layers. One of them's a little bit more intense. One of them, God, that texture honestly, that texture honestly makes this thing look actually real. That's actually really good. That's a huge win, you're right. Okay, I think I think these glows are a little too much. Let me get rid of these. Let's We'll add this one, but I think it's too Oh, this is white. Hold on. Let's add just this one. See if that helps. So this might be a little too dark now. Maybe. We do have it lit from the top though. Um, what if I add, what if I add a color balance on here of the highlights and I add a little bit of cyan to them? Yeah, see we add a little bit of warmth, still have narrow designs, add a little bit of warmth, let's adjustments, let's add a uh, Whatever these stupid gradient map is. I don't know. I just want the color to be blue. I want the lights to be blue in hue. Of course, it's being real dumb, so. I can probably do this a much better way. Let's add a photo. Let's add a photo filter of cooling filter. But we're going to do it to. We're going to do it to this. Paste. Like that. There. Now the lights are cool. That's better. Is it here too? Good, good. That's what it should be. Okay, let's go in here and let's just let's just mess up mess up the whole whole kit and caboodle. Okay, I want 
when I look at things, just like in life, I'm very cognizant of it. It looks weird to me. It'll bug me. So like, I really want these pupils to be super dark and black. So you're looking inside, you know, a an eye. You know, so I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. So I'm just gonna keep darkening up these irises. And I think that'll make it easier to look at. I think that's good. I think I actually want to make the whole irises a little bit darker too. Let's make the whole iris darker. Because I think like his his eyeball would be darker. You know? I think that looks pretty sweet. A couple weird spots in here I think I can fix, but um, let's just do let's just do some stuff. Okay, I want to put this uh, I want to put this in an art gallery setting. Uh graphics. No, I want just like blank photos of an art gallery. But I want a high-end art gallery. High end. Blank art gallery. I think they might actually have some nice graphic templates in here. Yeah, like this. Wall art mock-up. Uh, let me just search all items. Wall art mock-up. Yeah, kind of like this. Yeah, like this. I really just want like frames on a wall that I can add some photos to it and then have it be in the background. Kind of like that. You know, like this. So I don't want a brick wall. Art on wall. Perfect. Okay, let's just do all. I'm making this too difficult. down this and see how bad it looks because I don't think it's gonna look good for how I want this to look this would be better let's download this okay we'll just drag this up in here this is what I want but I want I want more, I want more than one photo, you know? Frames on wall. All right, three, 12, getting, cutting, cutting it close. Wow, these are all terrible. They're all terrible for what I want. not finding what I want, which is fine. Let's do blank wall, blank wall, art, gallery. Let me download this, this grunge art gallery thing and just see how this looks. Adjustments, I need the exposure of this to be like hilariously low. Negative three, negative four. I think that works. Um, let's just add a little bit of one of these just to go like this instead of multiply. Do you really see the bust here? Okay, so now I want uh, Devin Hester 2006 Super Bowl return photo. When 
96 yards, I believe. I kind of want him waving. Now I want this photo. Grungy Art Gallery. Bam. This is what I want. want. Click, frame, click, 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 click. take this and then have the underlying layer that's black which is the border it does not affect which is good um, and then uh, this one this is a good one too Black do not affect. Great. 25. Put some nice photos of him. Hanging out, chilling, maxing, and relaxing by the pool. Just save this to my desktop. Go back here, right click, place contents, gallery. Okay. Take this exposure a little bit. Oh god, that's so that's so much. And this is so we can see the back a little bit. And then I think we need another highlight. So I've got all these highlights, but let's just a highlight up here. But these highlights, I definitely want to add some red, I think, and I definitely want to take away a little bit of blue, take a little bit of a bronzer. So this I want to then, yeah, that's what I want. So this I can add in a little bit more. It's gonna, I think, give this a little bit more realism as a bronze statue. And I'll go like this, a little bit down here, just on that, not on this, but just in the other spots I barely I basically want to like accentuate some of these highlights a little bit because I feel like they're a teeny bit lost just a couple of them okay that's cool all right let's go back to my libraries now on top of all this stuff I have flares in here somewhere flares Here's the Ethan J Mega Bundle. Let's just put a nice little flare here. 1%. Put a nice little cute flare on his, uh, his earring there. Wow. It's amazing how different this looks when you don't have it do that. Put the flare right there. Group this. Duplicate it since we, you know, duplicated his earrings. We'll make this one a little bit smaller just because. There we go. Okay, do I have some shadows on? I want to get rid of the shadows on this beard. Let me do this real quick. Shadows, shadows. I think it's this. Yeah, let's just get rid of. I need my mouse for this. A couple of these shadows. Cool. Um, I think I can lower this background a little bit. Lower the background. 
can put some text up here. Oh, I didn't lower that at all. Lower text. Gavin Hester. Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2022. Theoretically, it's the idea. Um, let's put this right here. Take behind this. Pro football class. Devin Hester. We're going to make this larger. I have Memphis loaded up right here, so we're just going to keep Memphis on here just because I feel like it. A little bit of uh, some of this stuff going on. Contrast with the size. We've got Devin Hester right there. Now, though, I am going to take this gold, apply it to that. So it's gold text, which you can't really see, which is fine because we're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to go to this thing that turn, makes a big black shadow. Big black shadow sort of going on. Let me set the motion blur to something else. This is just going to kind of give a fake look of this hanging off the wall. Kind of like that. You can see it kind of looks like it's hanging off the wall now. We're going to group these together. I'm going to give this a slight bevel. I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm give it a slight bevel like this. Uh, let's do 100 depth there. Now we can actually see what we're looking at. Give it a screen of 100. We're going to give it a little bit of a yellow light, kind of like that. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to duplicate this whole thing. Get rid of the bevel, but just drop it down a little bit. And then get rid of this. Now it kind of looks like it's on the wall, which is kind of nice. That's kind of the whole thing I was trying to do there, but let's give it, let's do one of these. Set this to screen. I guess set it to overlay, like 50%. And then just kind of get rid of it. Now, kind of gives it a little bit of a specular highlight. This gold isn't doing much gold, and I think it's because of the uh, yeah the exposure layer is kind of killing it. So we'll just take this back. We'll pull this back a little bit to like negative three. We'll add the gold on top and set that to overlay. So we're gonna flip it around. This is gonna make it a little bit more neutral. Maybe 50%, something like that. I don't know. Added this color balance. I don't really like it at the bottom here, so we're going to get rid of it. And I think we might sort of wrap this up. Um, except I want his stats on here just because we've got these blank areas. Actually, I have his stats. I'll just do these stats. Actually, we'll go here. So we'll do uh, NFL 2000s All Decade Team. We're gonna make this real small because there's a lot. He's got a lot of accolades. All right, he was the NFL 2000s All-Decade Team. He was also the NFL 2010s All-Decade Team. Um, he has 20 total career return touchdowns to TDs. Um, four times Pro Bowl. Three times first 
Team All Pro. Let me think of how we can put these, this text on here. We can change it to something else. Hmm. <laughs> you know what this is missing, actually? Missing an autograph blurred in the bottom hand corner. So let's go somewhere I've never been before on the internet at all. Never done this before in my life. Devin Hester, uh, Devin Hester Auto. All right, let's just find a Devin Hester Auto. I don't think he has any National Treasures up right now. I mean, I can take a photo. I've got one right, right here. <laughs> that might be easier. Now I'll do this one because the National Treasures usually is pretty solid. Except that was college, and that's an earlier year. Nah, that one's fine. Ah, buy view scan now. Okay, cool. Save images to downloads. Thank you, guy. I don't know if I want that on there, to be honest. Okay, we'll just toss this on here. We're going to invert it. Just use this to go do 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 boo. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Feathering at 5%. I don't want to feather. Hate that. Hate it. Alright, squeeze through here, squeeze through here. Up around in the big old circle. Whoops. I don't want any of this though. <laughs> I don't want any of this. Hold on. Alright, but I want to add that. Okay. There. That's it. Adjustment. Gradient map. Gradient map. Uh, set that to screen. We'll just drag this over like so. Go down here because there's still a dumb fringe on this. Just erase out this part here. Bam. Uh, set this to a smart object and we'll blow it up and just kind of uh, let's just put it let's put it on his hold on let's get this there let's put it on here yeah is it on there yeah no no maybe not I just feel like the bottom's empty you know Great, broken. Hold on. Move. File, open recent. Devin has your bus design. The logo should be completely somewhere different. There we go. Oh, you know what I finally did? You know, you know what I finally did here, guys? Uh, library. Um, Brand assets. Hey, look. Ready, set, bam. Logo. <laughs> My logo on here immediately. Instead of like a doofus. I'll just put his signature in the bottom right hand corner. I mean, I know what this is honestly missing. Yeah, I should really put his jersey in the background instead of one of these. Um, that would make more sense. I think I'm just gonna, I gotta go, I gotta go drop my wife off somewhere. So let me uh, hurry this up. We don't have a lens overlay over it. You know, there's not a lens dirt on it, but that's clearly a problem. Cause you know how dirty things are on the inside. You know how dusty these buildings can be. Big old dust. Just put it on there like that. Ah, uh, levels. There's a little bit of dust. Toss these two on top. Let's 
signature down there. Save. Let's add another... Let's add... Let's add more of these, actually. I don't think I'm going to like any of these, actually. I think she doesn't look too bad. Do that. Make a new layer. Filter. Game raw. Let's hit some buttons now. I think it needs a little bit more contrast, which is good. Uh, let's do 20. Oh, let's just let's let's hit some buttons. Negative 10, 10, 10, negative 10, 10, 10, negative 2. Too much clarity, I think. Hold on. 5, 5. One of these makes it look bad. Hold on, let's do that. Let's go down to Garrett's favorite calibration tool. Change the red primary. Ugh, maybe not. Tint, 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 tint. Wow, this tint's not doing anything. If I hold like Alt, reset calibration. Highlights such as color grade a teeny bit. I think if we just add in a little bit more yellow everywhere, it'll just accentuate this bronze statue. And then the midtones, we can have a little bit like that. And then let's give it a vignette. Really accentuate it. I think some of the lighting's still a little cattywampus, but it's fine. Before, after, before, after. Yeah, it's kind of better. Before, after. I'm actually gonna make it 50%. All right, I think that's it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Kevin Hester Pro Football Class Hall of Fame. You know, actually, you know, what I should put here is like spectators. Hold on. Let's see if I can find some spectators real quick. Hold on, I know I have some spectators in something I did for All Elite Wrestling that never got used. So let's find it. And since I have this organized again... I think I might be able to get it to work. You can actually really tell that these people are fake, but it's completely fine. Group? Nope. Spectators? Copy. Let's hide this real quick. Spectators! These are totally football fans. Except this bust is huge. So I feel like they would have to be like huge, you know? No, I don't like that. Hold on. We'll just get rid of these guys. We'll go back. We'll revert it. Okay, we're done. This is what we're doing. Cool. Alright, so we're going to save that. Save that as a ping. I'll post it and say it's the only thing I want for my birthday. I think they announced February 10th. I think they meet next Monday. And then I think February 10th is when they actually say who they're voting on. But here's the final. Not too bad. For not knowing how to do this, I learned a lot. I mean we started with we started with this. Like let me let me dumb this down to the same size. Let me match up his ear here. Yeah, it's close enough. So we started with this, ended up with this. I think it's a pretty good attempt at making a bust, so that's pretty cool. So thank you guys for joining me on this uh, stream. I will not be streaming tomorrow, um, but I will be streaming next week. Uh, I don't know when I'm streaming next week, actually, either, because I'm going to another date in game. So it won't be Tuesday. It'll be a different day, but I will let you guys know. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me for this. 
Uh, you guys have a lovely rest of your day. I'm glad you guys were quick to select to spend your time with quick me. Quick select. Uh, hop in the Discord if you guys want. i give you feedback on stuff. Do that weekly, my weekly critiques. Uh, if you want to use stuff like this, like the Envato stuff I use, there's a link in the description below if you want to take a look at that. Uh, but other than that, you guys have a lovely rest of your Monday, and I will see you guys next week.